the off-season work that we do around our our hunting camps is something that you know a lot of times you really shouldn't even call it work because it's a it's a lot of enjoyment because you know what you're looking for you're going to gain out of it what's going to happen down the road by doing these things and yeah it's a lot of labor and a lot of times it's hot in this part of texas but it's some of the you know it's you're creating something you're building something you can visualize what you're going to see and do in the winter and then when it all comes together and you see all the things you did in the off season actually work out and actually pay off boy it just makes you want to do more and more for us a lot of our plans and management is to create opportunities we try to increase the carrying capacity of our of our properties we try to create a lot of opportunities for the experienced hunters to new hunters kids to seasoned veterans and so when we go in and start building a program on a piece of property that that's my number one goal yes i want to shoot giant deer but i also want everybody to be able to come and, and enjoy the fruits of the labor have success and not be so picky and so anal for lack of a better word that you know you can't shoot that one can't shoot that one can't shoot that one i, I want to i want everybody to fill a tag and go away happy you know, right now, uh, one of my best and favorite tactics is to get out and create a feeding program on a property to increase its carrying capacity, increase the quality of the herd, and also help benefit the other native game species and non-native game species. And we do that in, in a lot of different manners. Uh, a timer corn feeder is one of the easiest ways to attract deer and game and keep them kind of on a pattern in a certain area. And we run a lot of those uh, around our properties and we'll We'll set those up in different scenarios, go off in the morning, go off in the evening, depending on the time of the year, we might throw some other times in there. Um, and you know, we, we'll do everything from carrying the, the feed on our shoulders, hauling it in our side-by-sides to blowing it out of big, uh, big blowers to keep everything maintained and managed. And it, it's a lot of work. I mean, you, you're constantly trying to make sure that the timers are managed and working the right way. You gotta keep them filled. You're always gonna have one or two that are a raccoon or something's gonna do some damage to. And, and, but at the end of the day, these, these timer corn feeders are a great way to be able to get game into an area and help you see what's, uh, what's in that area. In addition to uh, corn timer feeders, we use free choice protein feeders. And I normally don't like to hunt around a lot of our uh, free choice protein feeders. These are protein feeders that will bring a variety of record rack programs in depending on the conditions, depending on the time of the year. Uh, and you, you pour it in and you're gonna have funnels, you're gonna have trays at the bottom of them that allow a deer to come in 24 hours a day, seven days a week at will, just like if you had a big you know, corn field or a food plot up uh, in Iowa or someplace and those deer can come in and what they're getting uh, through that different types of feed that we're going to put out from record rack is is nutritional value you know you're looking at 16 to 20 percent protein they're going to get some mineral content in there uh, they you know and it gives you a an ability to ramp up your feeding programs and those times of need for deer and those times of need, uh, need could be based on what mother nature is throwing at you during that year it could be a drought it could be extreme cold and then other times that when i know the deer need them uh, it's after after the rut, you know, those bucks really get run down 20, 30, 40, 50 pounds of weight from chasing does all the way around. Does, when they're getting ready to have fawns or right when those fawns have hit in that ground, they need to be able to produce more milk and there's not enough good range conditions at that time. You can kind of use these free choice feeding programs to really benefit those deer and, and help them through those times of stress so that, the, you know, when the good times and things are raining and conditions are great, that the deer are going to be in the best shape they possibly can be. One of the things that impressed me and that I've learned so much about Record Rack over the last few years is they've got a variety of products that really suit all different types of people's needs. You know, if you're a deer breeder, you know, deer breeders across the nation, they have a different need than say a hunter does. And when you kind of mix those different things up, it allows you to understand that this is not a company with just one or two quote unquote magic dust products that are being sold at a big box retailer. These, this is a company that's invested in wildlife. They understand the science behind it. They, they build products and they design products that are, you know, the, the game are gonna get the most benefits from. So whether you're a guy putting a block out in the Midwest, you've got a, a, you know, a deer breeding farm, you've got a hunting operation, uh, you're an individual just throwing some corn in your, into, a, you know, into a feeder somewhere, or you're a guy that wants to build a mineral uh, site. Record Rack has all of those different products and, and they, they come from science, they're backed by proven results and it really makes a difference for people to understand that 
Bercy is just picking up a bag of mag magic dust at some retailer that it's just something that's really more marketing than it is proven results.